Hey guys, it's M4J here and welcome back to my Steamish career on Football Manager 2018. We are playing the replay against Everton today in the FA Cup third round. Um, hopefully we play well. We've, we've had some encouraging results. We beat Cardiff between this episode and last, which actually put us ahead of them in the table. We did have a suspension from that. Kennedy did get sent off. There was me saying nice things about him. But there you go. He, he still played well. He actually, I don't think he got any assists actually. I think he scored though. Um, and Manises scored a hat-trick, which means he will be starting the game. We are also trying to sign Wayne Rooney, but um, I'll gloss over that for now. Because there's a very good chance the deal won't go through. But you never know. Right, here we go into the game. So I'm going to put Jack Barmby there. And then I'm going to start Giorgio. And bring Barmby on if necessary. Um, I'm also going to start Manises. He did so well in that last game. Godden will sit on the bench. Longstaff will come back into midfield. And James will come back in at a right back. That's a pretty good team. I feel like that team is stronger than the team that, that played the first uh, tie. So, fingers crossed. There's no one else really I can bring in, is there? I don't think so. don't think so. Alright, let's do this. Oh, did I sign a player? Oh yeah, Whitmore, he's cup-tied. Uh, I'm in the process of signing this guy as well, Velazquez. Uh, we're waiting for a work permit, so I don't think he will be allowed to sign because of the whole work permit thing. Um, it's interesting because I'm, I'm constantly on the forums looking to see when the Hatfield database... I mean, I call it the Hatfield database. The England Level 22 database will be ready. Uh, and there's a guy on there that keeps saying, how do you remove Brexit? Uh, or how do you remove the UK leaving the EU from the game? And I don't see the big deal, because first of all, he manages down in the lower leagues, where it makes no difference anyway. It's only once you get into the Football League and above that you start signing players from um, international countries, and then work permits become an issue. When you're managing in the level 18 of the uh, English Football Pyramid, it really doesn't matter who you've got um, signing, because they're all going to be English, uh, or at least from the home nations. The other issue was... The UK have left the EU on my game now, in this save, and it said it doesn't affect work permits. So, <laughs> apparently there's some special deal done, which means uh, work permits go through as usual. So yeah, not sure what that's all about. Right, let's have a look at the Everton teams. So they're pretty much playing the same lineup, but they've got Braithwaite up front instead of Gamero. So, there's some stuff to take encouragement from there. I think we've sold out the stadium. Uh, 6,722 tickets, I believe it said, were sold for this game, which I think is still the capacity of Broad Hallway, the Lamech Stadium. So, um, good crowd. I noticed that our, our debt is £200,000 less than it was last episode, and I'm sure that this, this tie has something to do with that. Playing Everton twice is, is a good way of making money when you're a League One club. Alright, let's deal with this. Oof, offside, okay. The last game, the one I played off camera against Cardiff, Manises scoring his hat-trick. Two of the goals uh, was scored from balls coming in. Well, oh, that's just wide as well. Balls coming in from the right-hand side. The first one was Samuel crossing it in, Manises volleyed at home. The second one was, I think it was Kennedy that scored it, actually. Hancock crossed it in from the right towards Manises. It was cleared by the defender back to Hancock, who then swung it back into the far post instead of the near post, and Kennedy slammed it home. The best goal of the game was Manises' hat-trick goal. In fact, was it, it might have been his second goal, actually, thinking about it. Uh, Easton got the ball in midfield. Uh, I suppose it was midfield. I mean, he's a defender, but you know what I mean. Thumped it over the top into the path of Manises, who ran onto it and then just drilled it past the keeper into the top corner. It was a magnificent finish. He is a real gem, it turns out. Uh, I feel like he's been slightly undervalued this season by me. He's definitely going to be starting more games if he carries on playing the way he has been the last few matches. Alright, good clearance there to Giorgio. He plays it around the corner. Hancock is running onto it. I think Hancock scored a goal in the last game. He certainly got the assist. Kennedy got sent off before we even scored all our goals. We won 5-3. Um, we were 1-0 down. And I think we went 3-1 up. 
and then I think we might have even gone four one up thinking about it. I'm trying to remember the exact timings of the goals, but uh, Kennedy got sent off. I think we scored twice more after he got sent off. We were definitely five two up because they did score the last goal to make it five three, and I did start to get a bit twitchy at that point. But um, it was a really good team performance. The defence still needs work. But, I mean, if we're scoring five and conceding three in every game, then we're still winning by two goals. So it's not the worst thing in the world. And it's very entertaining. You know, you, you certainly get your money's worth when you watch Stevenage play at the moment. Oh, yes. Mini says, great ball from Samuel. Great run from Samuel. He's got such composure down that right-hand side. He's a real asset for this team. Good pass by King. Look at the pace from Samuel. This is in slightly slow motion, by the way, which is why it's not as fast as you were expecting. And that's a great pullback. Mini says tidy finish into that bottom left corner. Beautiful goal. Puts us 1-0 up against Everton, who are in the championship now, I think. I checked that between episodes. I think they got relegated, which is scarily true to life, actually, when you think how Everton have played this season in, in real life. They're recovering now, but at the start of the season... Um, the way they, they started, relegation was perhaps a possibility. It's one of those things where, can you really say that they were always going to be safe? Because you never quite know. There have been some surprises in the past. And I'm speaking as a Newcastle fan, let's be honest. You know, we've been relegated twice. Both times were a, a nasty surprise. But uh, it looks like life has caught up with the... Well, it looks like the game's caught up with reality, I should say. It's a good thing reality hasn't caught up with the game, otherwise Everton would be in trouble. Right, they are starting to pass it around a little bit more easily now, which is a bit worrying, although I'm quite happy if they do that for the rest of the game. Good kick from Fryer to find Samuel. Crossfield pass intercepted, not a great ball from Samuel there. Braithwaite's through, plays it to Vlasic. Awful attempt from him. Yes, yeah, Samuel should be very grateful for that. I can see his intent. He just didn't do a very good job of it. Right. It looks like for the second match in a row against Everton, we're going to be 1-0 up at half-time. I'm very pleased with that. There's not a lot to say. We've got players like Giorgio, who's only playing a 6.2, and yet we're, we're equaling them stats-wise, and we're winning. So... Yeah, really happy. Really, really happy. Same again, lads. That's all I can say with that. Mini says straight away, cracking one just over the bar. Just to remind Everton, you know, don't get complacent because he's still there. He can still score again if he wants to. Fryer with the long kick forward towards Samuel, headed away from him. Vlasic into... they got Bamford playing for them. Bloody hell. Good save, Fryer, by the way. Very good save, Fryer. I could have easily crept in. They've got Gamero, they've got Braithwaite, and they've got Bamford. They've certainly got a lot of strikers. Right, Hancock lofts it forward towards Samuel. Again, headed clear. Oh, King going in with a high boot there. He's got to be careful. You don't want to do a Mane. Get in deep trouble for that these days. Personally, though, I, I mean, that Mane thing on Edison, I do think that was a red card because it was reckless. I don't think Mane, you know, I don't think there was any malicious intent or anything. But it's the um, it's the fact that he studded someone in the side of the head that really means it should be a red card. Whether he meant it or not is irrelevant. It's, it's dangerous play. Shouldn't really be leading with your foot when the ball's that high. It's a bit... Yeah, I suppose I'm, I'll, I'll drop the C word. It's a bit cowardly to do that, to lead with your studs like that, when you know it's going to be someone's head height. It's not very nice. So I think the right decision was made. Right, I'm going to bring Barmby on for Giorgio, because Giorgio is not playing very well, and I know Barmby can do well. The question is, is his injury going to get the better of him in this game? Otherwise, we've just brought a passenger on, which is not the smartest move. Right, Fryer with a free kick. Good pass. Who was that to? McEachran. Not the best touch from McEachran. Uh, he sort of won it back there. It deflected off him at least. Klassen to Dockle. Finds Christie on the uh, overlap. 
He's crossed it into the back post. Vlasic's header, I think that hit the bar. And then was cleared. McCarthy now to Klassen. Bamford. Oh, good finish. Good finish. And Dombele. Yep, absolutely unstoppable. I think that's a pretty good description of that, to be honest. Pretty good description. Oh, it's, it's really deflating. When uh, the team that you the team that you know should be scoring, it's still really deflating when they do score. Yeah, he s smashed that in. To be fair, made that very difficult for Fryer. All right, just keep pumping away, lads. We'll get another chance, I'm sure. De Silva's coming on for Martin because why not? I mean, Martin's playing a 6.4. De Silva can't do any worse. Fryer's kick forward. Picks out uh, Barmby. Plays it forward to Menezes. He's got lots of runners. James is one of them. Come on, there's loads of players in the box. Oh, he had to find the Everton player, didn't he? Although Barmby's done well to recover this. And he's crossed it in. Corner. I was wondering what that was then, because I heard the referee's whistle, and then it said Stevens challenges Menezes. Uh, Eastham couldn't turn and get shot away. James picks up the loose ball, and that's the end of that highlight. Everton are starting to dominate this game. Possession and chances. I think they played a reserve team in the first tie. I mean, a lot of their defence were the same. Um, in fact, their entire back five's the same. But up front, they've certainly changed things a little bit more. And that's worrying. Good play, Fryer. Good play, Fryer. Keeps it nice and safe. Right, we're going to make another sub. Final sub of the game. We're going to bring Ferruz on for Hancock. Because he's on a yellow, he's getting tired, and he's only playing a 6.6. .6. And Ferruz deserves a chance. Because he's actually a pretty good player. We're going to encourage the boys. And hopefully we get another couple of highlights between now and full time. Oh, not at this end, though. Offside. Please be offside. Please be offside. Yes. <sighs> Bamford. Offside. Good block, actually. Whoever that was that made the block. Well, maybe not the best block, because it did go to the entire Everton squad were waiting there to put that in. Just happened to fall to the guy that was in the offside position. Right, pause. We're going to go into end of the game, need a goal mode. Play. I can't do any more shouts. That's frustrating. Okay, we're, we're in danger of this going to extra time. Which will not do any wonders for our fitness levels. Murphy. Tackle him. Oh dear. Oh dear. Get it clear. That's it, Kingy. Not the best clearance in the world, but you got it away and that's the main thing. Alright, Longstaff with the ball in. Headed clear. Klassen and Longstaff chasing it down. Klassen thumps it long. Murphy running onto it. Oh, it's an onslaught. There's so many Everton players. He's overhit that one, but Dockel can quite easily put it back in and has done. Good clearance. McEachran to find Ferruz. He hits it long. says not really interested in that one. I'm not surprised. It wasn't the most accurate of passes. Easton plays it safe back to Fryer. He boots it long. Barmby heads it down. Ferruz with the ball over the top. Just cut out. Ferruz again with the ball over the top. says. Was he onside? It looks like he was. He shoots. Saved. Samuel. Get in. <laughs> get in. 2-1. I don't think Holgate was at fault for that one. I don't think Holgate was. I don't know how many says was onside there, but apparently he was. I know Holgate slid in there and didn't... Actually, that was Stevens. How was Holgate at fault for that? Stevens slid in and didn't win it. Manises shot. The keeper parried it. And then Samuel tapped it in. 
At no point there was Holgate at fault. You're too honest, Mason. That's your problem. Too honest. Oh my god. Are we actually going to beat Everton? Alright, Stephen's on the ball. Yes! We beat Everton. Oh my god. What a game. I'm talking about football manager. I'm not talking about that match. What a game. That's going to put us right in the spotlight now. Any players who want to join us, you know, we're, we're in the FA Cup fourth round. Uh, as providing you haven't already played for another team in the Cup, of course, you'll be able to play for us, which would be awesome, wouldn't it? You have a grand old time. Oh my god, I'm actually shaking. I was not expecting that. When we drew Everton, I thought, you know, I'll, I'll make videos of it, of course, but I was genuinely expecting a ham hammering from them. I certainly wasn't expecting us to win. That's incredible. That is incredible. We got Hull in the next round. What league are Hull in now? Championship. And they're right down the bottom as well. Uh, okay, this is interesting. So, after the last game um, against Everton, I think it was. It might be in the Cardiff game, actually. Or it might have even been the Ipswich game. I can't remember off the top of my head. But Hancock's agent came to me and said he wanted an improved deal for his player. Which, you know, it happens. I then told Hancock, sack your agent, and he did. Um, new agents come in, and he wants the um, he wants the new deal as well. So okay, we'll give him a, a bit of a pay rise. We'll take him up to seven hundred and fifty a week. I mean, you don't hang about, mate, do you? Optional extension, three years. Lock that in. Um, everything else I'm actually quite happy with. Okay, there you go. End of the season. Yes, good. That's the best result. Uh, and I'm going to save the game again. I think I already have just saved it, but I'll save it again. And I'll end the episode whilst I'm doing that. So, we've got Hull in the next round of the FA Cup. I'll check in just a second when that match is going to be. Um, because I think at this point I should be making videos of each round of the FA Cup at least. The checker trade is not as important, so I'll happily play those games off camera. But because we're on such a run now in the FA Cup, I feel like we really should be... Okay, so it's in two matches time. So I'm I'm okay doing that. We got them away, but I, I actually feel very confident now. I mean, Everton, they're second in the championship, and we just knocked them out of the cup. Who's their first choice, actually? First choice squad. So Braithwaite, Klassen. Yeah, they played their first team. We beat their first team. We actually beat their first... Oh, my... <laughs> we beat their first team. That's, that is exhilarating knowing that we can do that that is so good Wayne Rooney if you're not going to sign for us then there's no hope for you for modern football why would you not want to sign for a team that's just done that we've set a new Gates record 170,000 so the finances that was 600,000 just now look at it now that is awesome gate receipts 519,000 this month we made an income of 924,000 Wow. Right, yes, I'm going to win the episode. So we'll be back next time for the whole game. I'm going to play the two matches, the league game and the checker trade game, off camera. And then we'll come back next time and I'll tell you how well we did and things like that. So until then, guys, thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And, of course, if you're enjoying the series, drop some comments down below with ideas for tactics, transfers, staff additions, um, scout views, all that kind of nice stuff. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have already subscribed to the channel, thank you guys for your continued support. And until next time, I will see you soon.